Hi, I'm Beth. I'm from the library service. I'm Lindsay. I'm from the home learning team. I'm Catherine from the library service. I'm Oliver from the early years team. And I'm Simon from North County Council's family learning team. In this video, we'll be sharing with you 10 fun activities that you can do at home with your child to help prepare them for primary school. Children will see their name all around the school, be it on their work, on their pegs for their bags, or on labels on their clothes. You can help get them comfortable with this by making a name badge together. Take the badge and put it on a fridge, by their bed, or somewhere where they'll see it often. Draw attention to it, and the more regular the child sees it, the happier they will become when they get to school. Before children write, they need to understand that writing is making marks that will have meaning. Even before this, they need to have practice at making those marks. And a great way to do it at home is to give your child some rice or lentils or flour in a tin or on a tray and let them make marks with their fingers. Reading has been shown to be an indicator of future academic success for children. Reading helps their listening skills and it's also a really nice bonding time for your child. Try and choose picture books that have lovely words and pictures and ones that you enjoy reading too to encourage a lifelong love of reading. Reading doesn't have to be reading the words, reading the pictures is just as important too. Singing songs together with your child is a great way to help them develop their language and literacy. It builds memory, it helps understand rhythm and flow of language, and it's something as well that they're going to be doing at school, so it's good for their confidence if you practice now. You don't have to have a great singer in order to sing together with your child, they just like hearing your voice and doing things with you. But if you really want to check, you can find lots of videos on YouTube or you can go to the Norfolk Library's Facebook page and join in with one of our full Bounce and Rhyme sessions. When you're out and about with your child, try taking pictures of the things you're doing. Perhaps you've gone to the park. You could take a picture of the journey there, a picture while you're at the park and a picture on the way home. Later, encourage your child to use these pictures to tell the story of their day. Children love looking at pictures of themselves and these pictures work as a beginning, middle and end. This builds narrative skills for children and helps them communicate with other people. Make time to visit the library with your child. This is a great way to encourage their interest and love of reading and books. Take the time when you're there together to look through and talk about the different books and options and let them pick what they're interested in. They may want to pick the same book again and again, but reading and repetition are great ways for them to build their understanding and love of language. And if you can't quite bear to read the same book for the 50th time, maybe compromise, let them pick their favorite story and you introduce a book that you think they would really like and that would bring something new to them. Writing can get quite tough for young children whose arms and hands are still developing. Over the summer, look out for activities that can be used to help strengthen arms, hands and fingers. You can check out our video on physical development for some more ideas. Sometimes a really fun way to tell stories with your child is to just make them up on the spot. You could just make up a character and describe their personality as well as their appearance and then see where that character goes by giving them a sentence prompt like once upon a time and see where they take it. It's really good for creativity and imagination which are key skills in reception. Drawing is a really good activity for strengthening the hand muscles for writing. So encourage your child to have a go at drawing by offering a variety of pens and if you can different sizes of paper. When they've done a picture, try and be encouraging and instead of perhaps saying, oh, what's that? Say, I like the way you've used red in your picture or, oh, you took a really long time over that picture. Can you tell me what it is? and that way they'll be encouraged to keep trying. Understanding the written word and their meanings is vital to your child's development and recognising symbols is an early reading skill. Talk to your child about signs and logos that they are familiar with both when you're out and when you're at home looking at packaging. You'll find they are familiar with a lot more symbols than you might realise. We hope you have fun trying out some of these activities. For more information visit the Norfolk County Council website.